to talking about making uh, parts and using stuff, materials that are laying around or parts you have to make uh, models. So just to show you how things can, you know, change the look of things, I have the bottom of the cork pin here for posting, which I've cut in half, and that's just the bottom flange. And there's a bit of tube here, which I've cut off a little plastic tube. Right, and here's the uh, paper clip which I'm about to cut off the top on. So there's that done, right? And I put it, if I glued that on top of that there, and then I put this on top. It needs a little fixing in that, of course. So you have these pieces and you can add on to them, right? So that they look differently. Right, let's do a little add there, see that tube on that, and then you can put a wheel on there or whatever you like. So I'm going to stop that now, and I'm just going to show you, this is the uh, knitting needle where I cut it off, and you can poxy this on top, and you get a little kind of radar look, or you can poxy it on top of this one here. They're not all ground, so it's a little hard sometimes. And you can epoxy it up in that as well. Or you can turn it around, put it on the needle and epoxy, which would even be easier. Which I can't do right now. But you get the idea of it. There's a whole pile of things. You can also use these curtain rails and, and stick them on if you want a different base. See that's a nice little base. And then you have our famous tapered piece and it's a different base so it goes on and on you can play with what your look wants to be or do you want it higher or lower and you could have it on this right like that or you could have a larger one on this there you go you can get beads and put them on anyways I think that's enough of that showing you just various elements and pieces you can stick together Rivets are great. You drill a hole in your ship and you drop your rivet into that hole. Right? And it becomes a great base for guns and that. So now you can stick a nail in here and make a, a gun out of it or a crane or whatever you want. Um, here's another nail, a more basic one. That's not the right size, but anyways, you know what I'm talk, chatting about. So you get a nail. Here's a standard finishing nail and you can put it in like I did, and you can make a crane or something out of that, or a small mast, or the back mast of a ship. So, just a quick chat about materials and I'm done. You should collect as many materials as you can, like I collect straws, a couple of straws from Starbucks and from other places, just in case I need little pieces for building. You want to collect uh, as many round dowels as you can, even plastic ones like the knitting needle. I have a couple of little wood ones here. I have this straw, white tube type, and I have another plastic tube laying around. And then you have the fountain pin cut off tubes for little things like guns. And that's that. Chopsticks, fantastic for using. You know, don't throw them away. You can even stir, I stir paint with it, but. The tops are fantastic. The lifeboat's on the Titanic on the 570 scale. Here's another tube I kept, which comes in handy. Uh, well, of course, you use uh, Starbucks coffee sticks, which I've glued together already a bit, just to see what, what I could do with them. And here we go. Here's the cocktail stir stick. I think this is a tongue suppressant for... Um, doctors or something. Uh, standard flat toothpick and the round toothpick. They're all great and you know all you gotta do is roll them and cut right? Especially the toothpick. So this one's harder and this one's harder but the toothpick you just kinda roll it and cut it and it just snaps and you get a nice little cut and a little round piece there. So they're great for you know making little things. So I think that's it. I hope this helped you with your building and you know, 
Remember, there's a whole pile of stuff at home you can use for building models. I hope this helped uh, some model makers at home, you know, repurpose, recycle old items. You know, it's kind of um, after World War II, this is what they did. They used a lot of items at home. They didn't have the cash flow to go out and buy, you know, the model ship parts and go to model shop and have that kind of spending money. So they adapted various things at home by thinking out of the box, really. Uh, um, film people that work in... Um, Toy commercials are great at adapting these or in other kind of um, futuristic shows where they make these little models. And I learned a little bit from that as well. But you know, you, if you keep pushing little pieces around and adapting them, all of a sudden you get what you're looking for. Or if you're looking for something certain, you can't find it, you start going out and looking around in your house and all of a sudden you find the tube you need in a pin. Or you find a little... Um, bit of plastic tube you need for the end of the muzzle of a gun in a pin. So, you know, and it's going to be thrown away anyway. So what you do is you keep all these parts in the can, all these small parts, and then when you need something, you start looking through the can. And, you know, you usually find what you're looking for that looks pretty cool, like the, um, the little gun turret I made and showed you. It was done, it wasn't done carefully. I just wanted to do it quickly to show you how that's done. But you can also solder a nail and some wires to make little cranes like I did on the uh, Titanic. But um, this, uh, um, after World War II, this art of making ships that aren't really, you know, they're not exactly the way the, mo the models, you know, the Air, air Fix and Revell uh, models are. They're not as exact as though. But they seem to have a, a beauty in themselves by finding that kind of common ground of, well, this will work really quite good and look quite good. And, you know, you have to admire them for the materials they used. And it's, you know, I call it house art, but maybe it should be have a new name like um, recycling, which they did a lot of, and they made some beautiful models with them. I hope this helps uh, everyone, model ship builders out there or other people. Uh, this is basically my take on, you know, the different materials and how you use them. There's uh, other people that do it other ways. Uh, this is what I was basically kind of shown as a young fella from my uncle. And I'm just kind of following in his footsteps and passing on the knowledge a bit, you know, and I hope it comes in useful. My name is Willie D. Keep on building.